Glory to God. May God bless you, may God keep you, may the Lord protect you. Another powerful prayer, we are on the fourth day of our war room campaign. I am certain that our God will bless us, will give us victory. I have the Bible open here to 1 Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 4, and the Word of God says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. There are people who want to resolve situations through their own strength. When God says they are not carnal, He means that if you don't fight with God's weapons, with God's strength, that is, through prayer, you won't overcome. Prayer is the strength, it is the weapon we have to undo the snare, to cut the arrows, to weaken the enemy. In every moment you stop and pray, and seek God, you are strengthening yourself. The more you strengthen yourself in God, the weaker the enemy becomes. I felt in my heart just now, I wasn't even prepared for this, but I felt strongly to pray Psalm 91 with you. Let's pray with strong faith. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge, His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Our Lord God and our beloved and dear Father. Yet another day of this powerful prayer campaign from the war room. Father, we are here, steadfast in prayer, presenting before you our intentions, our urgent causes, our afflictions. Lord, I ask of you at this moment to intervene with provision in the lives of your children who are here in prayer. Look after each one of them, my Father, bring a spiritual renewal, shower blessings upon their lives, and free them from every assault of the enemy. I believe, my Father, just as you worked a miracle in my life, just as you answered my prayers, my cries, you will also bring victory to each one of your children who cry out to you. Say, I believe. I take possession. With great faith, I want you to say the Lord's Prayer with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. Glory to God.